Hey guys, so today we're talking all about the loafer. So in a few of our previous videos, we mentioned different types of loafers as an essential for those certain occasions. So our spring essentials had some tassel loafers, some penny loafers, some drivers, which are all considered loafers. And today we're just kind of break it down and kind of give you a sense of what outfit is meant to be worn with each of them and how to pair them with an outfit. So basically, your loafer is kind of like the most casual of the dress shoes until you get up to like a velvet opera pump, which is- Yeah, which is super- It's to be worn with a tuxedo and super, super tux, tuxed pink, up. Pinky up. Yeah, this uh, loafer is really spring, summer, like casual chic. Exactly, except for the velvet ones. Yeah. So if they're velvet, you're wearing them with a tux. If they're any other material, you can pretty much get away with jeans, shorts, and a suit. Okay, so we're, we're getting started first with a leather loafer. So first, this is always a staple. We always include this in about three or four of our videos. This is something that I personally would wear with denim. I would wear it very casual, but make the outfit like, I guess, seamless. So wear a blazer, denim, shirt, probably like this outfit actually. I would wear, yeah, you know? There you go. Yeah, this is something, this, these right here are by uh, Gordon Rush, uh, made in Italy, quality made shoe. I think these are my current faves. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna look great with a suit. They're gonna look great with jeans. Um, I don't know if I would ever go the shorts route with these ones, because they're, no. it's a little too old man-ish, I think. Yeah, I think stay away from shorts. That'd be like too JFK. Yes. Right? But hey, JFK was- JFK was a, a man. A style he legend. Was. So next, we have actually two pairs of suede tass tassel loafers. First, these blue ones from Paul Evans, which are probably one of my favorite shoes. I know I've said before I'm not really a loafer guy, but these are one of my favorite pairs of loafers. Can, can I just say I think you're colorblind because <laughs> these are gray. No, these are blue. <laughs> these, are, these are definitely gray, dude. These are blue. Are they? Yeah, you're colorblind. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay, well, let's settle the debate. Blue or gray? Is the dress purple or gold? <laughs> I, I Comment below. These are great. These are definitely blue. Yeah. But anyways, these blue tassel loafers are some of my favorites. I wear them with suits. Um, I've worn them with denim, but not still a dressed up denim, like denim and a blazer, not really casual. Because we're talking about suede, uh, suede loafers tasseled. You would think they're both the same type of shoe, but they're very, very different. Yes. I think these are more dressed up, so right. more classy. I think these are definitely like, I could rock with shorts. Right. Really laid back. Jeans and a t-shirt? Jeans and a t-shirt. I actually, you know, recently rocked them with jeans and t-shirt and, you know, it's almost like a sneaker. This is like your sneaker of the loafer, kind of. Cause right. We, we have one coming up that's <laughs> super a sneaker. But, but I, think, I think it's the stitching around here, like the contrast stitching that makes it a little more youthful, a little more casual. That's right. Not so dressed up, but still killing it in a suit, you know? No, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I you could wear a more relaxed suit than I think you could wear with these gray ones. Yeah. But, um, yeah, either way, you need to have a suede loafer. Yes, that's probably actually in my book the first loafer I would buy because I already have you know leather dress shoes. If I'm gonna go loafer, I'm gonna go a little outside the box and I would go suede first. Yeah, yeah. I'm, my first loafer was also suede. It was actually these, I've had these for four years now. Where are four those years, from? Just a man shoe. So these right here are, you know, look them up, just the men. They'll range you anywhere from 80 to uh, about 120 and that's on the higher end. Check them out, dude, these are four years old. I've taken them all over the world. Up next, probably the actual sneaker of the loafers. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, a driver, like this is gonna replace your running errand sneaker. Like once you get a little older, you know, you need to graduate from that pair of, pair of Vans or Chuck Taylors and run to the grocery store and some drivers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I call these a, like a dad staple. Every dad has to have at least one pair of these drivers. Yes, and honestly, before, probably two or three years ago, I absolutely hated the way these looked. <laughs> like, could not stand drivers. I thought they were like, they looked terrible. Um, I didn't understand what these dots on the back for, but obviously because they're called drivers, so they don't dirty the back of the suede shoes that that's, you're wearing. That's right, yeah. So it makes a lot of sense. It's very functional. And once you put a pair on, you'll realize how freaking comfortable they are. So I'm converted. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they have a cool, they have a cool history with them. You know, normally, back when these were invented, they weren't used out in the street. They were specifically used for the car. 
so they wouldn't leave the car. You would go in with your leather loafers, take them off, put on your drivers, drive home. After you got off, you would put back on your leather loafers and leave those in the car. So they were aptly named. The drivers. The driver. The driver, yeah. So when you got a boat shoe, what do you think those are for? Hmm. <laughs> People who name shoes get very creative, obviously. They do, so they do. loafers, when you're just loafing around. Yeah, I mean, so we have, <laughs> we, have, we have leather loafer, suede loafer, the driver, and we also have... And actually, this is kind of like a hybrid, I guess, of like a leather loafer. You know, you've, sometimes you, they have like a horse bit or some sort of metal closure yeah. up here, which gives them a little bit of high class, but these ones have a rubber sole, so you got that grip, like yeah. a little bit of a boat shoe vibe. So right away I thought they were boat shoe, but they're not. They're, not, they're like a, a driver without the actual little balls. Right. These are cool, dude, these are really cool. This is a driver with no ball. <laughs> so, oh, um, but anyway, yeah, these are, I, I've been, I wore these just a Cabo last week, as you can tell. Just a Cabo. I'm very, very tan. And, you know, these are the perfect vacation shoe. They're super comfortable, they look classy, they're not too casual or dressed down, and I think, honestly, I think once these get worn in, like, and some good creases to them, they're gonna look even better. No, definitely, definitely, yeah. Those are, I mean, these are clean. I feel like perfect, perfect shoe for summer, dude. Like, yeah. like if you don't wanna look very laid back, but you wanna have a little bit more class in the feet. So most guys, I mean, most guys who are just getting into the shoe game, they usually skip loafers because they feel uncomfortable wearing them. I recommend you at least have one pair loafer. You know, if, if, if yes. I could do one pair, I think of the shoes here, I would choose these because they're mo the most versatile. When you do wear loafers, most people won't wear socks. We recommend wearing no-show socks that'll preserve your shoe. Yet again. No-show socks. George advocates no-show socks. He wears them all the time. All day long. No-show socks. But they will preserve your shoe. in the face. They will preserve. <laughs> <laughs> but no-show socks are real pre preserve your shoe. I've worn them every single time for the past four years for these and these. So yeah, yes. no-show socks. And last but not least, I have a surprise. Ooh. Oh wow. Close your eyes. My eyes are closed. Can I open them now? No. You can't open them. Oh. You better not be your ticket in the box. Don't open them, I need to sit. Let me sit down for a second. Oh, there's some real shit in here. Alright, open them up. Whoa! Swims. What do you think? I like swims. Big fan? Huge fan. Do you guys know about swims? We actually just got these in the mail it's recently. Sick. And when I talk about a perfect pool day shoe, this is freaking this is it. it. Size of those six? No, they're yours, sadly. Oh. <laughs> they didn't have my size. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> these are dope. But so basically, these are 100% waterproof. You can wear them like in the water, out of the water. Can you wear them in the water? Yeah, they're, they, they drain out. But they look like loafers. Yeah, these are like, so you could even rock these without the water, basically. Right. They have a nice ventilation system. To me, there's no other loafer like a Swims loafer. They're, they've been, they've had this technology for quite some time and nobody's even come close to doing what they're doing. I didn't even know he was bringing these and I already know about them because they're like freaking awesome. They're the only ones that look like cool. Like real loafers. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like Everything I can, else looks a little too like kid, kiddy. I mean, this is a total boat shoe. I mean, this is a total loafer, a total, you know, Anytime you want to wear a loafer, fucking wear these, dude. Com Actually, I'm curious. Comment below if you guys would wear these. Hell yeah. Like, because I'm I'm a huge fan of them, and I think they look super cool for, you know, being a waterproof. It's essentially a water shoe. No, yeah. So, but it's dope. Badass. So, that wraps up our video on loafers. You know, leather loafers, suede tassel loafers, horse bit loafers, drivers, swims. Check them all out, we'll have links to them down below. Um, comment below which ones you would rock or which ones you guys already own. And uh, let us know what videos you got, guys, let us know what videos you guys wanna see next in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.